you know skunks can do handstands? That's the biggest load of crap. No way. It's science, bro. Did you know kangaroos can't walk backwards? Mm hmm. Get this. If you feed a pig enough chocolate, it can play video games. Where do you get this stuff? I mean, it sounds like something you found off a candy wrapper. Actually, yeah, man. I've been collecting these bad boys and they're a surprising little spring of knowledge. Eric, look, I don't mean to nag, but... You're kind of getting to the point where you smell like hot puke and stale Cheetos. I mean, you know we have a working shower, right? What you smelling is my natural musk. I, mean, I have at least three days before I have to worry about three taking a shower. Three days? I mean, after three days, they're gonna call the guys in hazmat suits. The entire apartment complex is gonna declare a state of emergency. And I don't wanna be the roommate of the guy whose musk started a world outbreak. Bro, chill. I'll work it into my schedule. I got it under control. So are things going for your girl or you? You guys still dating on that online gaming thing? It's Oriya. It's her elvish name, and it means one who is fair and fertile. Are you sure it doesn't mean one who is a hairy 40-year-old man? <laughs> you know, she could be a dude, right? Oh, no. We video chat. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, how are you and Lacey doing? Things are going pretty well, actually. It's getting pretty serious. For the first time, she burped the words, I love you. She's a keeper. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure she's the girl of my dreams. You know what? It's great you found someone who speaks your own language. Hey. Will you take a look at this? Hey, your finger? What about it? You want me to smell it? Because that's not going to happen. Well, no, I think it's swollen. Look. Looks normal to me. Uh, well, no, I looked it up on DrDiagnosis.com. Oh, no. Must be finger cancer. D dude, don't say that. This is serious. Look, it's a little bluish. I think I have Warnicke's encephalopathy. It can, it can cause confusion. It can create muscle spasms. It can even cause vision loss. Vision loss! That's totally me! Dude, well, maybe if you didn't bite your nails down to nothing. I think you have too much time on your hands. You're... you're paranoid. A total hypochondriac. You're like a hermit. Why don't you go out? See the world. Thanks, Mom. I think all that worrying's making your head shrink. Now that's ridiculous. Do not fall asleep. Now, when I speak the word moon, you shall become as a creature of the night.
Sold me yet? I uh, I don't I don't have your money yet. Oh, now is not the best time to come over. No, I'm not trying to bail on you, Sketch. I mean, I'm just a little tied up at the moment. You listen up. I'm not in the business of taking rain checks. When I get there, you better have my stuff or my money. Or my little visit's gonna leave you eating food through a straw for the rest of your life. Do you understand me? Yeah, you got it, Scratch. And over and out, kid, I'm okay. What the hell did you just say? Uh, <laughs> I said I better hang up. I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Have you seen my bag of brownies lying around anywhere? They were in the fridge, but now they're gone. The need to feed. Well, um, why are you up? Can you get some mooncakes? <laughs> and by the way, the toilet's clogged, man. Thanks, bro. I think he's gonna remember to get the mooncakes. Bro? with my supple lips just like the days when we used to don't wanna get the pizza too the freaking people's house so they can you stuff their faces with oh. <sighs> who's there? Hey, cut it out! I know karate. I'm not playing around, man. I won't hold back. 
This is gonna be one friggin' whooping you will not walk away from. I can guarantee that! I don't friggin' get paid enough for this. I quit, I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. Is it over yet? Is uh, what over? Oh, <laughs> that's just Kevin. Jake, you didn't get the mooncakes, man? What the hell? And what happened to your shirt? <laughs> you didn't eat the brownies in the fridge, did you? <laughs> Wait a minute, you eat them, didn't you? Out of all the things, bro, do you know how much trouble I'm in? Oh, oh that really hurt. Are you okay, man? <laughs> this may come as a shock to you, but you're not a werewolf. Yes, I am. The last time I checked, werewolves can't talk. How do you know? You've never met one before. <laughs> What are we going to do? Our best course of action would be to call the police, but your friend ate through the phone cord. We could attempt an escape or... Dude, we chill. We lay low and we let him sort his stuff out. We chill. <laughs> This is probably one of the better quality episodes I've seen. You can barely see the zipper on the back of the monster's costume. If you think this is good, you've never seen bewitched alien slugs from Venus 6. Ew. Wait a second. You watch Zizzard the Wizard of Horror? Yeah, it's mostly Kevin's thing, though. The eyebrow guy is hilarious. <laughs> you mean Zizzard the Wizard? Yeah, the eyebrow guy. Hey, cut it out, man. We're trying to enjoy some boot cakes back here. <laughs> Your friend, was he watching Zizzard the Wizard earlier? Yeah. 
And this isn't a psychotic episode, nor is it a classic case of clinical lycanthropy, as many would assume. There's an episode of Zizzard the Wizard called Eye of the Werewolf that aired October 6th, 1979. Have you ever heard of it? No. There's a reason you've never heard of it. That episode featured a skit where Zizzard uses hypnosis on the audience. The night that it aired, there were dozens of cases where crimes and disturbances were reported being related to schizophrenic episodes. Specialists and authorities linked the episodes to Zizzard's show and the episode was pulled off the air. And that mean? <laughs> if this is what I think it is, and there's a 90.999% chance that it is what I think it is, then I just might be able to help your roommate. Wait, are you saying you know what's going on with him? I know I've never seen brownies do this. Luckily, yes. Your friend appears to be exhibiting symptoms commonly associated with schizophrenia, such as delusions and hallucinations. Uh, these usually include uh, seeing and hearing things that don't exist, unpredictable agitation, abnormal behavior and obvious resistance to instructions, inappropriate and bizarre posture. However, his speech doesn't appear disorganized as he clearly is able to communicate that he believes he's in the throes of lycanthropy. And that means? That your friend Kevin never finished Eye of the Werewolf. Oh, okay. I release you from the nocturnal power of the moon! I'm Lucas Schrepp, and I just released you from hypnosis. You're welcome. Not many store clerks are well versed in monster movie lore. <laughs> you totally trashed the place, dude. <laughs> you thought you were a werewolf. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. I did all this, huh? Yep. yep. <sighs> man, that was amazing, man. You're like a modern day Van Halen. Van Helsing, but that's close enough. guys are going? I hope all this hassle was for me. You got my stuff? Oh, yeah. Right here. What the hell is this? Hey, man, I just bought the... Oh. You want to know what I see right now? I don't know, do we? <sighs> Three dead men. <laughs> Hold on a second, can't you give us more time? <laughs> Too late now. Oh. 